Awesome. My name is Pat, and I would like to start this presentation by asking you a question. Can you imagine a place where everyone come together, regardless of their background, to solve problem in their community? Think about it. I have experienced that place, and it's awesome. But a little bit about myself, I study biology, and people usually connect biology with medicine, which is true most of the time. But that's not what I'm here for today, because my love in biology came from my love in dinosaur. <laughs> you know, it's awesome. But I'm also passionate in technology, and you know, dinosaur and technology have one thing in common, which is the scale of its impact. When I went to high, when I went to middle school, I start to appreciate how lines of code contribute in many gadgets that we are using right now. I've learned to make games, of course, about dinosaur and other software too. So that love of technology and dinosaur and innovation bring me to Hacks for Humanity, a hackathon by Project Humanity at Arizona State University. And for some of you that are not familiar with a hackathon, it is like a marathon, but you develop software. I, so I would call it technology marathon. Everyone can participate and form team and compete during 24 or 48 hours of this event. So I was so excited about the hackathon, but, you know, so I, I, I invite a lot of my friends to participate, but none of them showed up. <laughs> so I improvised and um, met these four auto strangers, and we start to brainstorm. Two of these people um, share with me their heartbreaking moment of losing someone to suicide. Suicide is a big problem that we are facing. Every 13 minutes, we lose a person to suicide. However, 10% of people that commit suicide first put their ideation on social media first. So that inspires us to create a technology called Arc Humanity, a platform that listens to a call for help on social media. Our technology utilizes um, machine learning and keyword filtering system to listen to suicidal messages on social media and connect people in crisis with the mental health professionals. So our technology is proactive because it doesn't require the person in crisis to call. It finds the person and connect them with a the professional, and so the professional can offer them a helping hand. We work on this project, and in two weeks, we identify 2.6 million tweets that match suicidal keywords, and we are working with Arizona State University um, Help Services and T Lifeline to reduce suicide in our community. We receive a lot of recognition as a, a social enterprise to make sure that a cry for help never go unanswered. You know, these four strangers, we, beca we become family, and we have a clear vision of what we are doing. But to reflect upon this, this is just started at the hackathon. So, you know, I'm very nervous and still nervous right now, to be honest. But one thing that I have learned from working with these four amazing people is that it is okay to have shortcoming. And that's why, you know, we are all matter. So, there's a way of fear of failing, of fear that we will never accomplish what we want to do. But if we have our hope shine over our fear, we will be able to do a lot of amazing things. So, I think that, you know, going back to my first question, Hackathon is very innovative because it's a place where everyone can participate, learn from one another, and create solutions for their community. But the most important thing is that we can have hope and bring our hope together. You know, if a 20 years old dinosaur fanatics like me can innovate suicide prevention technology, I believe that every single person in this room can make big impact in our community. So maybe we start by participating in a hackathon and go hacks with hope. Thank you very much.